Hello and welcome to The Green Actor Reads Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing Act 2, Scene 3 uh, Benedict's opening s monologue In that scene <coughs> I do much wonder that one man Seeing how much another is a fool when he dedicates his behaviors to love, will, after he hath laughed at such shallow follies in the behaviors of others, will become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music in him but the drum and the fife. Nah, now he'd rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I have known when he would have walked ten mile afoot to see a good armor. And now will he lie ten nights awake, carving the fashion of a new doublet. He was wont to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. And now he is turned to orthography. His words are a very fantastical ba banquet, just so many strange dishes. May I be so converted and see with these eyes? I cannot tell. I think not. I will not be sworn. But love may transform me to an oyster, but I'll take my oath on it. Till he have made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in within my grace. Rich she shall be, that's certain, wise, or I'll none, virtuous, or I'll never cheapen her, fair, or I'll never look on her, mild, or come not near me, noble, or not I for an angel, of good discourse, an excellent musician, and her hair shall be of whatever color it please God. Ha! The Prince and Monsieur Love. I will hide me in the arbor. And then, of course, Benedict is tricked into believing that the Lady Beatrice is in love with him. Which is a very amusing section of the play. And I really recommend it. Recommend it. Admittedly, the Claudio hero plot, which he does, uh, which he is, which he starts alluding his, with, allusions to, um, isn't the greatest, but it's a very wonderful play, and if you get the chance to see it, I highly recommend it. So, let's see here. Oh, and in case you're wondering what chess has to do with Much Ado About Nothing, it doesn't really. However, I was in the mood for chess, and I would always love to see Beatrice and Benedict playing chess against each other. It'd be interesting. Ah. Uh, oh well, I got rid of your queen. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see here. What else can I do that will really just get them irritated? Ah, oh, man, I lose my horse. Nope. Ha ha. I got the queen. Okay, enough of that. There. Well, I'll finish this ga game off camera, but I'm signing off. This has been the Green Actor reading Much Ado About Nothing. See ya! Hey everyone, the Green Actor here, and since the video was short, I thought I'd add a bit more time to 
the video to tell you a bit more about Much Ado About Nothing. Much Ado About Nothing has two basic plots. The Claudio hero with Don John and Don John plot and the Beatrice Benedict subplot. The Claudio hero plot basically revolves around Claudio's jealousy. Claudio is a very jealous guy. And then the other plot sub and then the subplot of Beatrice and Benedict, which is more popular, revolves around the two humorous side characters' um, opinions on women and their secret atta attraction to each other. I will get on more of that in another video. So, hopefully this gave you a bit more info about the play. Until next time, I'm the Green Actor, signing off.